All right, guys, it's Jerningham here. Apparently, they're going to be closing bars, clubs, um, nightclubs, um, schools across the UK, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland uh, for, for the coronavirus. And uh, so no one can go to the pub. People still probably will try and go to the pub or try and go to places, but it'll probably be stopped. I don't know. Let's uh, play the video. And it is an enormous commitment by us to British jobs and British workers. Nationwide pub closures and an unprecedented package of financial support. This will probably be happening in Scotland, Wales Friday, and Northern Ireland, guys. March. This is the latest on coronavirus. Prime Minister Boris Johnson has ordered all pubs, bars and restaurants to close. And restaurants as well. As the government toughened measures aimed at stopping the spread of coronavirus. Uh, following an agreement between all the uh, four nations of the United Kingdom, all the devolved administrations, we are collectively telling, telling cafes, pubs, bars and restaurants to close tonight as soon as they reasonably can and not to open tomorrow. Though, to be clear... It's like living in a war, guys. They open them today, they open them tomorrow. Services. We're also telling nightclubs, theatres, cinemas, gyms, and leisure centres to close on the same uh, timescale. Announced alongside the new measures is a package of financial support never before seen in the UK. Today I can announce that for the first time in our history, the government is going to step in and help to pay people's wages. We're setting up a new coronavirus job retention scheme. Any employer in the country, small or large, charitable, or non-profit will be eligible for the scheme. Employers will be able to contact HMRC for a grant to cover most of the wages of people who are not working but are furloughed and kept on payroll rather than being laid off. Government grants will cover 80% of the salary of retained workers up to a total of £2,500 a month. <laughs> That's just above the median income. And of course, employers no, can if they choose to. Can be carried away there. That means workers in any part of the UK can retain their job, even if their employer cannot afford to pay them, and be paid at least 80% of their salary. The coronavirus job retention scheme will cover the cost of wages backdated to March the 1st, and will be open initially for at least three months. And I will extend the scheme for longer, if necessary. The government's step up of its social distancing strategy follows similar efforts seen in foreign countries battling their own coronavirus outbreaks. Across the Channel, in France, anyone who ventures outside their home is required to carry a sworn statement, with police officers ready to hand out fines to those out and about without a valid reason. And in Italy, where deaths have surpassed that of China, the country has been in lockdown since March 9th. Italians can only leave their homes for essential reasons. Cases in the United States have topped 13,000 so far, and today, California ordered all of its citizens to stay home. A state as large as ours, a nation state, uh, is many parts, but at the end of the day, we're one body. There's a mutuality, and there's a recognition of our interdependence that requires of this moment that we direct a statewide order for people to stay at home. In Wuhan, ground zero for the worldwide outbreak, quarantine measures that have been in place for six weeks were partially lifted. It comes as China reported a second day with no new domestic cases, while other Asian countries have seen a slowdown in domestic transmission. However, there are fears of a second wave of infection. China has reported 34 new cases of coronavirus imported to the country from sufferers returning home from abroad. Virologist Jonathan Ball says the risk of reinfection is always present when using social distancing measures to fight an outbreak. When you then relax and release that pressure, the virus can then start to gather pace and start to cause uh, further transmission chains. Some of that virus will undoubtedly be already probably circulating in China. Some of it might be reintroduced from other parts of the world. Uh, but I think, you know, that's the point. Uh, we would expect there to be waves of infection so long as the population doesn't have this so-called herd immunity, which is a level of immunity that where the number of people within that community is large enough 
for the virus to find it very difficult to spread. So you, you have to somehow get that herd immunity up. We, we try to do it with vaccines, but in the absence of a vaccine, we're reliant upon natural infection. Health Secretary Matt Hancock has said that on Monday, more than a million people in Britain will be told to self-isolate as deaths in the UK continue to rise. Well, the first thing we're going to do is set out exactly what conditions uh, that applies to. We expect about 1.4 million people uh, to then uh, get a communication from the NHS. The new measures will apply to the most vulnerable people which experts define as the elderly and those with underlying conditions need such to do. as cancer. Many of these people have pre-existing health conditions and so will be very worried right now, and I understand that, and they'll need very specific sets of action. For instance, how do you go about still getting your chemo if you have cancer um, whilst also social distancing? Today marks the last day of classes for many British pupils in well, the foreseeable not. future after Boris Johnson announced yesterday that all schools were closed, save for the children of key workers. After schools shut their gates from Friday afternoon, they will remain closed for most pupils, for the vast majority of pupils, until further notice. Those key workers include NHS staff, police officers, oil, gas and electricity workers, armed forces personnel, supermarket staff, and a raft of other jobs deemed vital to keeping the country running. There's a link to the full list in the description below. Although the Chancellor's announcement today didn't specifically address parents not deemed key workers, employment lawyer Sarah Chilton says there's scope in the plan for those parents to get some assistance. What it could mean is that if employers, for example, only need two-thirds of their work, they could offer people the opportunity to choose to stay employed on 100% pay or to not work but be employed but effectively not be given any work on 80% pay. Now, you might get a run, so everyone might want the 80% pay to not go to work, but a lot of people will want to work, particularly if they are self-isolating or in their homes. And what that may do is encourage within the employer a situation where people who have children or other people that they need to care for at this time can choose to take 80% pay and not work. And then Give me a like, please. I need more followers. Thank you. But obviously, there has Enjoying to be a the video. reduction, I think. You know it's far today. In the you know me So it's not entirely the will or the choice of the Will it the choice, people? I can't find it. Anyway, I should cut you in the next video. Thank you for joining me. You know people, and new people that join me. See you in the next one. Peace. And the notification bell. Why don't you...